hi everyone this is pramita here so if you watched my previous video then you must have seen that i have um, recently bought a pack of journaling supplies from a local seller and um, i have uh, that was just like uh, i had not uh, bought anything for myself or my journals for a long time and uh, this is a, a local indian seller so i thought of buying some stuff from these two ladies i saw their feed on instagram they sell through instagram basically and uh, they don't have a shop uh, this is my traveler's notebook system where i do my planning and uh, you know a kind of hybrid journal that i keep bullet journal sort of Uh, so I have three inserts over here. This is the second insert, and the first one that I just opened was a calendar insert where I don't write anything much because I'm not that busy. You can say uh, this. I started in July, August. This was a journal um, which I have covered uh, the front, and this was an insert from Coco Daisy. uh i had been a subscriber to their kits long way back but now i'm not uh so i have uh i have been using their inserts on and off so this is the current the black covered one journal that i uh, show is my current bullet journal i cannot say this is a true bullet journal this is a kind of hybrid bullet journal but this is what i use and this is what i um, you know works for me so if you are interested in having a look uh, or a flip through of uh, the system that i use you can um, i'll try and do one uh, flip um, but uh, as you can see i've not uh, covered Uh, I've not done anything to the cover, and the cover was totally black. And I had been meaning to do some sort of collage on top, and uh, uh, but um, you know, I just didn't have the time, or uh, I was not feeling very inspired. You can say. So I decided to use these journaling supplies and do some collage on the cover. So this was actually an A5 um, notebook. which i have cut down to b6 size because my traveler's notebook is in the b6 size and um, uh, fortunately this journal had to be you know cut only at the top and um, it was a perfect fit so i'm going through these a6 stickers uh, these are actually stickers and uh, just to see which one will work best but um, i don't know like um, you might have that shiny spot uh, on the top because um, because of a light overhead light that i have and it it really is bugging me these days and i don't know i need to fix that somehow um so what i do is i'm just going through the stickers that i can use and i'm not sure whether i'll use this or something else um mm. So uh, this notebook was actually from Amazon. It's a very reasonably priced grid notebook, and um, what I've done is I've just taken off I think half an inch from the top. That's it, and uh, it just fit into my traveler's notebook uh, cover. So um, this is how the cover is looking. I'm just trying to push, you know, move the that image away. so that you people have a proper view of uh, you know what i'm planning on doing so this is the picture i'm going to use uh, because this picture is pretty big and i think this cover will look nice so i'm just using some vintage papers that i have uh, received in the pack so i'm going to use that so again i'm going to take off uh, create a raggedy edge kind of thing and um, yeah so i i decide to use that vintage paper and um, add a kind of a jagged edge at the top of the journal um this is how i want this to look so um yeah so i'm going to use my glue stick but of course <laughs> i'm just trying to figure out you know where it will look best without that awful glare that uh, it is casting uh, so i think i'm going to keep it at this side so that you'll be able to see as well as not face that awful glare 
So uh, I'm using my glue stick because I know I'm going to seal everything up at the end of the day. I can use Mod Podge or I can even use some, uh, you know, furniture um, uh, fix that I use for, um, you know, uh, fixing everything up. So, um, so I can use that. Uh, so I've taken off the backing that's really pretty uh, uh, but uh, I'm just trying to figure out how much I want uh, so I want this to be on one edge and then probably I'm going to do some collage on the other side I'm not sure yet because I, w I would love to have a jagged edge or maybe different elements layered uh, at different heights the way that I love and I'm just taking off a little bit of paper from this vintage book page and again I'm just gluing this because I know I'm going to seal this up I'm not worried so much so I am going to go through the stuff that uh, I have and see how things go so uh, again, I hate to see that glare on the cover. So I'm moving that notebook over there. And I would like to put something on the left hand side, that narrow strip that I have. Uh, probably I'm going to use this doily, part of this doily. Um, so I take this off. This was actually a thank you gift. Uh, thank you Bhakti uh, from the Bodhi journal. And um, I wanted to use the half of the doily, but then I decided against it. I thought of using only one corner of the doily. So I'm just snipping this off. And um, snipping this off and... Use it. like so but then i found it was getting too big to my taste i i don't want this uh, so probably i'm going to use only a portion of um portion of this doily because the picture itself is pretty big and i don't want to take off the focus from that picture so when you have things like this you would like to put smaller elements around the bigger focus so that it does not move away again i'm trying to figure out where i should put that notebook anyways uh, so i here i have a little bit of music sheet that i want to add uh, on the top left side um, this is a very brittle um, paper music sheet that i have and i'm just trying to take off the extra bit now I, when i started this journal i was not sure whether it's going to work for me or not because i am uh, a little bit fussy about quite you know little things uh, but I also wanted to have flexibility in my planner journal sort of thing so this was actually um, the best that I could do the system works for me and uh, I have lots of stickers from my previous planner days when I used to be a big planner fanatic sort of thing and I really want to use those stickers up because um, uh, I don't have much use for them these days, so I'm just uh, trying my best to use them up. So this is the best I can come up with. This is a kind of hybrid bullet system that I, that I use, where I basically track a lot of things, yet I do a lot of planning, my work planning, my home planning, and uh, that's that. And here I'm trying to just use that corner of the... Um, doily because I don't want too much so I'm placing that on that corner because that empty space is bugging me I know that's not empty basically but still so it's I don't know what's happening maybe the texture of the um, you know the sticker making it impossible to stay put so um, I need to put something over there and I am digging through the stuff that she has sent me and I'm 
I'm just going through, you know, different things that I can use. And this is actually the packaging that she had sent all her stickers in. And I take off a small sticker that she had used. This one. This is a washi tape, sorry. Uh, the washi tape, this has a zebra. Um, and I thought that, well, it's going to be eclectic for sure. Um, let's not class it as botanical or something of that sort. It's going to be a mix of everything. So I'm going to take off this sticker again. Uh, I'm using up all the stuff that came in the packaging basically. Uh, and I'm going to glue that down so it sticks there. So now it's uh, forming a kind of shape you can say. But I also need to add a little bit of um, interest to her side so that you know she looks like she's emerging from the paper scrap. Uh, so I'm going to add that bit also and um, probably I'm going to add bits and pieces uh, once I lay down the basics. So, um, so I'm just trying to figure out what I should put so that it looks all <coughs> well held together. So um i do have a few stuff in my stash that i can use so i'm just trying to guess what i can do mm, i need to put something there and there so uh again i'm trying to guess what i can use i'm going through that packaging envelope again this was actually the botanical kit that the bodhi journal came out with and um, in the description box i'm going to link uh, bhakti's um, instagram handle because that's through where she sells her stuff. So I have um, put that washi tape. And uh, also little bits and pieces that all were on the packaging. So I'm using up all little, little bits. So again, 